As with your favorite dating app, deciding which college application category will meet your desires and help you build your future is a matter of weeding out those that will not work at all. So we encourage you to swipe left to remove the option from your plans or swipe right to work toward that application category. We will outline the possibilities. Once we are through the list, you can go back and make your best pitch to the schools of your choice using the best application categories for you. Hi, I'm Margaret Meek, and this is Swipe Accordingly. Remember, colleges open their applications around August 1st each year. You can apply at any point after the application is made available. You should also know that you need to check with each college to determine what applications they use, which application categories they use, and their due dates. You may be able to use some of the common forms for more than one application category. Check with the common form providers and the colleges to make sure you are ready. Okay. This will be a quick rundown with the best features of each application form highlighted. Make a decision and note which ones are best for you. We will tell you the name, the purpose, and the timeline for each of the options. You can then research the schools that interest you to fill in the particulars on the application timeline and categories of admission that those schools utilize. Take that information and fill in your college list. So here we go. Early action. As the name implies, you apply earlier than the regular admissions timeline. You must complete the application and you must meet all the requirements. During the early action process, you can apply to as many schools as you wish. The general timeline is that applications are submitted sometime around October or November. The college announces the admissions decision sometime around December. This format is great if you wish to find out if you are competitive for a particular college that is important to you. If you are and your application is accepted, great. If you aren't, you can move on to all the other schools on your list during the regular admissions process. Swipe right if you are interested in early action. Your next admissions dating option is early response or notification. This is also similar to early action in timeline and reasoning. Some schools use this terminology as a category of admission. If a target school for you lists this option, treat it like early action and swipe right. Single choice early action. Again, the name implies exactly what it means. This is when you apply to one school early action, your favorite school. You are asked to apply to only one school. This will allow students to receive their financial aid packages before applying to any other colleges. By not being a binding application, the flexibility is given to you, the student. And in return, the school is given assurance that you are interested in attending that college. The timeline is similar to that of early action. If you want to apply to more than one school through early action, swipe left. Restrictive early action. Yep, you guessed it. This is similar to single choice early action in timeline and purpose. It is common for the school to ask applicants to sign a statement assuring that you are only applying to one school at this time. Colleges do this to make sure you are interested in attending their school. This allows you to receive a financial aid offer before you commit to that one college. Only swipe right if you are sure you are willing to only apply to one school through early action. So for those of you who may not read the terms of agreement before you start your dating app, we will make sure you hear this one statement. You must be clear about the deadline to accept or reject any admission offer you receive. Just as you need to apply before the deadline, you must accept or decline your admission offer by the stated deadline. Now, on to the next grouping of application categories. Early Decision 1. Early decision applications are received in October or November, and the applicant receives a response around December. The most significant difference between early action and early decision is that the admission decision is binding. This means you agree to attend that college if you are accepted. You can only apply to one early decision school. Your acceptance is binding before you receive information on your financial aid package for that school. Your parent or guardian and your counselor must sign your application to signify that they understand the ramifications of your early decision application. 
Students need to be cautious that they meet the qualifications necessary to be selected for admission through early decision and that they can afford to attend that college just based on what you can tell about the median aid provided to students of your qualifications. You must swipe left if you don't understand the cost of attending your one school. You must swipe left if you want to apply to more than one school in the early process. But if you can swipe right, you are ready to commit. Early decision two. This is early decision with a later application deadline. Early decision two calls for applications to be due in early to mid-January with decisions being announced in early February. Again, the decision is binding. Colleges like early decision because they know you are committed to attending if selected, and this increases their yield rate. Swipe whatever direction that works for you in this later time frame. And as with dating apps, you can see the most popular option a mile away, but you need to decide if it will work for you. I give you regular admissions. Students can apply to as few or as many colleges as they wish. The time frame is for early to mid-January applications with responses expected around March or April. If you go with regular admissions for all your applications, you can now select the colleges to whom you are applying by swiping left and right. And then there are the more creative application processes. Free application days. State or individual colleges may offer a particular day or set of days during which you can apply without paying an admission fee. You must ensure your application is complete and submitted well before the deadline. We strongly encourage you to swipe right for every school that interests you and has a free date. Go for it. Universal admissions. The universal application is sent to a system of colleges. Once your one application is submitted, you will either be offered admission to the flagship school or be admitted to another school in that system. That secondary school may be a four-year college or a community college. The application is not binding. You don't have to accept the admissions offer. If you get into one of the satellite schools, you can turn down the acceptance. Do not swipe right if you do not believe that you can qualify for the flagship school and do not want any of the other options available. Rolling admissions. This is a great opportunity for students who are a bit behind in preparing for admissions, securing funding for college, or deciding that they really do want to go to a four-year college. In this category, applications are received by the school at any time, and admissions decisions are made within a matter of weeks, like in terms of four to six weeks. The application window closes as soon as the school determines it has approved enough applications to fill its incoming class. If you're having trouble determining where you fit in the admissions spectrum, this is a definite swipe right for you. You can pair rolling admissions with other opportunities as well. But don't be late. You don't know when the college's window will close and other students may beat you to a good college. Open or guaranteed admissions. Community colleges and a number of four-year colleges accept 100% of all applicants who meet their admission standards. This is the easiest swipe right option. However, it is not always the best fit for you. So if you want a school with higher qualifications, swipe left. Direct admissions. If you can't decide whether to swipe left or right on any college or admissions process, direct admissions is for you. You send an application to a broker. For example, the Common application offers this opportunity. The broker makes your completed application available to participating schools. These colleges can offer you direct admission to their school. This collection of schools may or may not match your college desires. Once you receive the offers of admission, you can sweep any direction you choose on each school once you know if they meet your needs. Priority admissions. If a college wants you as a student, they will offer you a priority or VIP opportunity to apply to their school. The application will be the same as any other student who applies to their college. The difference is that they are showing a demonstrated interest in you. There will be a special submission deadline. Admission is not guaranteed. And remember, the school needs to meet your needs or you should definitely swipe left. However, if the match is strong, swipe right and make sure your application is the best it can be. And our last entry in the admission application category is really just a step in the process. 
Some schools allow for an early evaluation of your attributes. They will review what you offer regarding grades, activities, experience, and more. Then they will provide an evaluation that lets you know if you are competitive for admission. If you are, swipe right and apply. If you aren't, swipe left and remove that school from consideration or buck up your qualifications and then send in a completed application. Schools that offer early evaluation are few and far between, but the idea is to let you know if you are competitive and that it is a good piece of information to have. You are welcome to mix and match these application categories as works best for you as long as you live within the rules, timelines, and deadlines announced by each of the colleges that interest you. Use the best information when deciding whether to swipe left or right for any of these application types. If you have any questions, ask them in the comments below. Please like this video, subscribe to this channel to receive more information for your educational journey.